Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And What's up, man? It's your boy MB, and I got something for you. Yeah, I know some of y'all. Can't afford the big heavy dude the big heavy duty hitters. The ones I like, particularly in the top five, y'all want a little cheaper option. So I went out and looked and see if I can. Well, I'm going to start reviewing some of these lesser known. I ain't going to say lesser known. They're very well known because they're cheap. Uh, they do fall into the category of non-chocolate. But we're going to see uh, what they can and cannot do. And I first went up the bat is this Rockville Punisher 8. Uh, I think it's a hundred and what is a hundred and fourteen dollars on this website. One hundred and fourteen dollars. I know you can get it on Amazon. Yeah, one hundred and fourteen dollars. Probably about a hundred and twenty dollars or something like that on a uh, on a uh, with taxes or something like that. So let's unbox it. See what we got here. The specs, the the, the description. Really threw me for a loop. What made me get it is because it said the cutout diameter on the Rockville website. They said the cutout diameter, and this I'm reading this directly off the site, says that it is cutout diameter 7.76 inches. Now that's that's a that's a big basket. Now when I looked at the basket, I said, well that must be bigger than the. Uh, the common basket that the Toro Tech uses and the Cosmo Audio uses. So I wanted to see for myself just how large this Punisher 8 is. There are some videos on it on the uh, YouTube channel. So it comes in a nice box, double package. Uh, it says, this is, I got the D1 version, so I'm going to wire it to a 2 ohm load. It says the arm is power is 750 watts. The program power handling is 1500 watts. With a peak power handling of 3,000. I've never heard of program power handling a day in my life. I do not know what, I've never seen no manufacturer. What is program power handling? What program are you, I, I don't know what that means at all. Can't answer that. It has double stack 145 ounce high quality Y35 magnets. That's the industry standard. Everyone's using Y35 for the most part. Y35 or Y30. Uh, hmm. 0.9 millimeters thick ultra steel polypropylene dust cap, which means it has a plastic dust cap. Uh, what else? High BL magnetic motor gap. High BL magnetic motor gap. What do you mean high BL with a, because of a tight magnetic motor gap? I don't know. That's not that's not really making no sense. Three layer spider made of thick gauge material to resist to tearing. Okay, this is not that. Some of this stuff is, I mean, who wrote this up? Don't laugh, baby. This, this, uh, some of this stuff ain't making no sense at all, at all. <laughs> don't, don't laugh. They're going to they gonna pick up on the camera, baby. Uh, thick foam surround for incredible sound quality with minimal distortion. Black stitching reinforces the cone and ensures, ensures long life. Black stitching. Black stitching. The color of the stitching reinforces the cone and ensures long. Okay, now that's what he said. I'm just I'm reading this strictly out the box, man. We can we use high temperature rated high grade black glue. Make sure these damn glasses. Cause this is not making no sense here. This is getting worse the more I read this box. I'm like, did I pay $114? High, we use high temperature rated, high grade black glue. I'm let that stand. That's just going to unbox it. The, the, the black glue. Who wrote this, man? Right, V, whoever wrote up your, uh, your, your, the wrong your specs, your did he? Uh, we know he, he finished high school, but he definitely not that good in college. I, 
we use high temperature black glue. So the color of the glue made it high temperature. Okay. So we're going to get this out. And it had it boxed upside down. I don't know if that's a sign or what. Get this over here. It came with a sticker. Uh, your opinion matters. Leave a review on Amazon and and in and eBay for your Rock View purchase. I would definitely do that. I'm going to see what you're gonna do. We're gonna test it. Now inside here is you get a cutout. And the cutout says the cutout diameter on the paper says 7.32. The cutout on the on the on the make you buy it off the internet says 7.76. So and there is no 7.76 nowhere on here, on this paper right here, which is the cut, which is, which is, see, this is why we're talking about chocolate and the other. This, the, the number 7.76 is nowhere on this sheet at all, but it's on the website, and the cutout diameter, and I'm reading 7.76 inches. On here, it says the cutout diameter, which is the black uh, space dotted line, is 7.32. So, I've already been tricked to spend $115 thinking I'm finna get a cutout that's comparable to the digital design for $114. In actuality, I still got a seven and a quarter inch cutout. Hmm. Fat and that fiction, baby. Now we're going over here. Let's look at this boy. Now, let's go back to your parameters because y'all had a, a it, oversized aluminum history, uh, extra thick T yoke washer. And wash the assist in keeping the voice cool cool by absorbing and dissipating heat. Yeah, okay, that's what that does. Now it is polished. That's nice looking. And it has a pole piece, vent, nice. It's not it's nice, maybe a half inch thick. Vents along the voice coil, the gap at the bottom of the bottom plate, which is this is the T yoke. Bottom plate T yoke, whatever you want to call it. Alright, then we have the going up, we do not have any Money was wasted on the magnetic rubber boot. Keep the cost down. Uh, a nice top plate looks to be about a quarter of an inch thick. I can see from the little recess here. Y'all can't see it. This is a dual slug motor. Uh, it has a spacer that looks like it's made from high. The spacer is plastic. And it's just a space to separate the basket from the top plate. There's no vents along it at all. You can see the coil. The coil looks to be one, two. Is that a four-layer voice coil? Yeah, four-layer black aluminum voice coil with oxygen-free wire, OFC wire. Uh, the voice coil wine is made in the USA. So you say, I guess maybe he's saying this is... Now, he didn't say the voice coil. <laughs> he said the voice coil winding. Now, there's a big difference between the voice coil and the voice coil winding. A lot of people get their voice coils out of PE, which is a very reputable company for his voice coils based down there in Florida. He said the voice coil windings. The windings are OFC copper. So he's saying the copper came from America, basically. If you read this, don't say, oh, it's, a voice, it's an American-made voice coil. That ain't what it says there. It says the voice core windings are made in the USA. So the copper, the windings, it didn't say it was made in the USA. It said the copper, the windings, the OFC copper was made in the USA. Now, the copper came from America, technically. Now, let's look at this. It has a single spider that looks to be a... Might be a progressive roll spider, does it say? Uh, high temperature, I don't know, right up under the, the glue. It's a two-layer spider made with thick gauge material that resists tearing. Is it a Nomex? Is it a progressive roll? Is it a linear? I mean, you left that little tidbit of information out. You need to really look at your writer. We're going to see what it do. Now, the spider is bolted down, glued and bolted down. The tensile leads from the push terminals going to the triple joint has a nice good clean bead of glue this looks it looks very well built honestly i'm gonna be truthful with you looks very well built the tensile leads are nice 
heavy dew. Looks like something you see on the sundown sub or any other sub that has tinsel weeds sewn into the spider. Single spider. The voice, the former does look to be like BSAV, which it does hate, does help in dissipating heat. And it has a, oh, oh, wait a second. Now this is, wait a second. Okay, most at the triple joint, they just have epoxy at the, underneath in the top. This has a, hmm, a plastic ring. Similar to what you've seen, I've seen on the Nep Audio Sub. It has a plastic ring at the, tip of, at the triple joint, underneath the spider, that the cone the spider sits in, and then they pour the epoxy on. The, the cone is pressed. Yes, press paper. Uh, that's what I'm saying. What do you have a list of as? Ultra stiff. Yeah, cone extremely thick. It's 10 minutes already? Oh, man. Ultra stiff. Press cone. Plastic dust cap. This 0.9 millimeters thick. And uh, on the mounting gasket, we have Roxville swung into it. And... This around looks to be average height. So now we're going to do a free air testing on it and see exactly what it will do free air. Will it respond at 20 hertz, 30 hertz, and how well will it move? Um, the second thing that may be intrigued about it is that it says it has 26 millimeters of excursion one way. That is the largest in the industry for $114. The digital designs is what, 18 millimeters, 17.5, sundown 16, uh, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. I think Toro's 22, BT Audio's 21. For $114, they got 26. We're going to see. Peace!